Hi guys, welcome back from the video. Today I'm going to be doing a Premier League roundup of match day one. I'm going to be saying the best game, best individual performance, best team performance, best duo, then I'm going to be doing a worst, so worst game, worst individual performance, worst individual worst duo and worst team performance then the worst team performance just so happens to go to Arsenal <laughs> um I think like Brentford are a nearly promoted side you should be winning them against them oh obviously there's all that banter FC but they are top half of the table quality they're not going to finish 15th They'll finish maybe mid table, but they should they shouldn't be getting beaten by Brentford. So up first with the best team performance, I am going to have to go with Brentford. I mean, obviously I know that Man United won five one, but Brentford to come up and play your first season in the Prem. And to be Arsenal, the third most successful club in England, 2-0, is just amazing, in my opinion. So, yeah, uh, that's the best team performance. So, the best individual performance, I mean, it's kind of obvious, isn't it? Opening game, in a red shirt, three goals, the man himself, Bruno Fernandes. So, um... It could go to Pogba, because he did get four assists, which is a Premier League record, equaled. But, um, yeah, I think Bruno Fernandes getting that hat-trick, because he did, he did work hard for it, to be honest. So, as for the other one, the worst individual performance goes to the Leeds goalkeeper, Melier, how you pronounce it, it's French. Um, a lot of the goals that went in, he should be saving, in my opinion. Like Bruno bounced off his leg and went in. Um, quite a few times they were close to him and then he dived over them. So I don't think he performed that well overall, so he's my worst individual performance. The worst game was probably Burnley and Brighton. So that like, Two teams playing and just have a chance of going down every season. I still don't know how they stay up every season, to be honest. I reckon that one of them will be relegated this season. I don't know who. Most people say that Brighton are looking strong. But they've lost Ben White to Arsenal. So I think that they have a chance of going down. And so do Burnley, because... They just edge it every season, but I don't think they can this season because the promoted sides are looking strong. So, the best game for me to watch would have been um, Tottenham City because that was really, really close because Spurs only edged a 1-0 win. Glad about that one because as a Man United fan, I want City to lose. And I was glad about winning 5-1. I could have done that for best game, but it wasn't a close game. It was just all Man United, really. But Tottenham against Man City was so close, and it could have gone either way, to be honest. Best duo goes to Bruno Fernandes and Paul Pogba. They have four assists for Pogba, three for um, three goals for Bruno, even. So, that is just amazing, because Pogba got a Premier League record, Bruno scored his first hat-trick, and they're midfield partners, so they count as a duo. And then finally, we have our worst duo, which will... Oh, hang on. Lost the light. Sorry. Um, it would just be Ben White and Callum Chambers, Arsenal's defensive centre-backs. Hang on, you only get defence centre back. Never mind. So um, Ben White was missing the ball a lot from the minutes that I watched. So that was poor from him. 
I still don't know why it's worth 50 million. There's no way. You get that back when um, Fergie was around, he'd what? That would be like 10 million now. So it's just amazing how much money has changed football. Anyway, back to the video. Um, Callum Chambers was missing tackles and let Brentford players in too easily and they just had an awful game between them. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Like, subscribe, hit the bell and I will see you guys next time.